Hi, welcome to Being Mindful. I'm Susan and I'm a licensed mental health counselor. I lead virtual meditation groups. And in the group I led for this meditation, the challenge that was brought to me was difficulty with thoughts, really thoughts being ever present and difficulty focusing or concentrating. So we worked with that. We primarily focused on the breath and I offered a metaphor for working with thoughts that seems to be helpful. So let's give it a try. We can begin by moving a little bit, stretching, doing whatever the body would appreciate doing as we work our way into a meditation posture. We tend to sit in this group and so it can be helpful to have both feet on the ground and an alert posture that isn't overly rigid. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, you can go ahead and do that, but it's fine to have them open as well. And we can begin by noticing the sensation of the floor underneath our feet. And already our minds may be working over time. As we begin to attempt a focus on the sensation of feet against the floor, our minds may still be working through something that happened or getting us ready to work for the rest of the day. And those thoughts will happen, of course, they're natural. But see if you can shift them behind you, as in imagining that it's a, a radio or Spotify or Pandora or your music source of choice emanating from a speaker that is behind you. It's in the background. And we're choosing to focus in the foreground. The beauty of guided meditation is that it gives your mind something to focus on. And it gives a little bit of interest because whatever the guidance moves to is a bit of a surprise. And that helps to keep our attention focused. Let's move to the sensation of breath moving in and out of the body. We don't need to control the breath in any way, breathe more deeply. There's no right or wrong way of breathing. We're just noticing where we can feel the breath most prominently. And resting our attention on that spot for just a little while, feeling the movement of the breath. One small spot 
Noticing how it feels to breathe in and then to breathe out. If sounds or thoughts happen to carry our attention elsewhere, we can notice that that's happened. It's part of the present moment too. We notice where the mind went, where the attention went, and gently bring the focus back to this one spot where we feel the breath most prominently. Staying with the breath, we can also follow the breath as it enters the body and the air moves through the nostrils and the throat and the chest, maybe even down into the abdomen. Noticing how each body part moves in response to the intake of breath. Usually there's an uplifting that happens with the in-breath. The chest rises, and maybe the shoulders even come up. And then with the out-breath, there's this release and slight relaxation that happens. And you can notice what parts of the body move or are touched in response to the releasing of breath. If your mind prefers to stick with one body part, if it's difficult to focus on multiple body parts at once, it's okay to pick one spot and notice that, that movement and sensation. So you can decide whether you want to scan or remain with one spot. And our minds may be helpfully trying to process something that's already happened or is going to happen. We can notice that. Let it play in the background. And focus on the foreground of our breath. Thoughts don't have to go away for us to focus on the foreground of our breath.
the breath happening naturally and noticing that breath, the movement, how it feels in the body. Thoughts and sounds continuing as they do. But not being the focus of our attention. Intentional focus on the present moment with curiosity. A willingness for things to be just the way they are and just the way they're not. Rising up with the in-breath and letting go with the out-breath. Now dropping fully into the body, sensing again the ground beneath the feet, the weight of the body against the chair, and begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Arch the back. Expand the chest. If your eyes have been closed, you can open them. Lift your gaze. And take a moment to reflect inward before we reflect outward. As always, I would invite you to take a moment to reflect on the experience for yourself. And then if you're willing to share something in the comments about what you noticed, what was helpful, what you struggled with. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll take a moment to do that. A thumbs up is a great compliment. 
And here at the end, I will be sure to give you some links to additional videos that you might find helpful. Thanks and have a great day.